What's going on, guys? Coach Matt and YouGoProBaseball.com here again with the man, Josh Cathcart, baseball doctor on YouTube. Definitely go check him out. Links in the description down below. Subscribe. Got some really great stuff over there. But I want to pick your brain today okay. about sequencing in the swing and like when do you even start that and what do you do? Just t tell us Just all. Just talk it. about it, man. Yeah. Sequence is one of those things that you can start at a really young age, and I think it is the foundation. Uh, for a good swing. So for y'all out there that may or may not be familiar with sequence, it's exactly what it sounds. It is the sequence of the swing. What our body is doing before we get to contact with the baseball and even a little bit after when we start talking about extension, okay? But we always want to work from the ground up, all right? This is the, the foundation is the lower half. If the lower half is inconsistent or incorrect, then your upper half never really has a chance, okay? That's not to say you're never gonna get hit, but consistently, without proper sequence, hitting becomes almost impossible, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda walk through the proper sequence of the swing, all right? So I'm gonna reach over here, grab my bat real quick, all right? So, stance, is in is individual okay everybody you can stand in a certain way i talk it all the time you'll have people that kind of stand here a la bellinger or trout you'll get the guys that are more spread out kind of like a pull holes or a yellick okay and then you have your big time elite movers right your hobby biases that come up and have the big leg kick at the top or the bryce harper even though harper has toned his down good for you bryce that was a good move to tone down that big leg kick but okay, all these big moves. This is stance and then into your load, right? And everybody has basically the same but maybe slightly different load. We're loading our hip and you're loading your scapulas. For some people, that may just be a slight kind of sit and step, just something simple. For others, like we mentioned, it may be that bigger internal rotation of the hip, really bringing that leg you know, you hear about showing your rear end or showing your back pocket to the pitcher, whatever the case is. So we have stance, then we have load, and then into launch, okay? Now, when we get to launch, this is when the actual, in my mind, swing moves begin, okay? First thing is going to be heel plant. This is often missed by players and instructors. The first thing you'll notice in launch this heel is slightly off the ground. I don't want to get up on my toe because this is going to cause me to spin open or slam down. But heel plant is going to then trigger, you probably heard some of that, trigger or gas pedal, the back hip. So heel plant into the hip, from my hip into the core as I start to create my separation then up into my shoulders as I get connected, and then out to extension through my arms with this energy. I like to talk about a tornado effect, okay? Working from the ground up like a tornado, and then all that energy kind of comes out of the top. This is the same thing that we want to talk about when we're talking or dealing with sequence, okay? Starting at the ground and working around the body into our rotational move, out to extension okay one of the, my favorite drills for sequence is to take this pvc right in here put that thing back behind you and kind of hold like you would a regular bat all right get into launch and now from right here we want to try to hold our shoulders and feel our heel plant into our hip drive and then a little bit of stretch right here that would be the lower half of the swing getting started, feeling the sequence. If we get up here and we're out of sequence, meaning we start our shoulders before our hips, you would see this. This is not the move that you're looking for with this PVC to be coming down. You want the PVC to stay and you actually want to feel a little bit of bend in here. Notice how as my hip starts to fire, the back knee is going to work down and in and the PVC is gonna bend. Kind of in that same direction right here, okay? So for sequencing, I really, really like this. Then you can go ahead and go right across the top. How we talked before, 
into launch. Again, resist the shoulder turn. We don't want to get these shoulders turning this way. Okay, we have our tilt. Those hips are going to go. And now we start to work underneath and we can finish. If your players can complete this move without being herky-jerky or without bouncing out of this, their sequence is probably correct. Okay, so again, set and launch, heel, hip, then my shoulders into my turn, and finish. All right, so key to sequence is understanding how the energy works from the ground up, all right? Without proper sequence, swing falls can occur. I'm going to go over the biggest one today, just real quick for you. You've all seen it. You've all heard it. Moms, dads, young players, y'all hate it, and you don't know how to fix it generally, and it's the dragging back elbow. Okay? Number one issue with the dragging back elbow is improper sequence. Players get in here, and then all of a sudden, they're late with their load, and so they try to save it with their hands. And when they save with their hands, that back elbow gets underneath, creating back drag, and now we've got to try to change our body to get the barrel back. If my sequence were correct, and I start with my hips and into my core, and start to turn, I'm not going to tell you that it automatically happens, okay? We have to have some control at the top, but if we're working from the ground up, this move becomes much more consistent and you're not going to be able to see that back elbow nearly as bad and it's all from sequencing okay if you would like some more information on sequence please reach out to me via email you can dm you can facebook message you can do whatever you need to do please understand sequence and start teaching this to kids at a young age this is something that you can start with the five-year-olds okay teaching them how to use the ground and not get their hands going before their lower body. So it's a really good topic, one that's seldomly understood and seldom talked about, especially with the young guys. So I hope this information helps. It's all about sequence. Another great video. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for sharing all this great information. We shot a ton of videos today. I'm sure you guys are gonna see, but please make sure you go over to Josh's YouTube channel baseball doctor uh, i'll leave the link down below where you can check it out tons of great hitting information fielding stuff everything just definitely recommend going over there subscribing and hitting the bell notification so thank you so much hop down in the comments let us know what you're working on in your swing and we'll hop down there and answer some questions you may have and if you are ever in the houston texas area come check them out at the hardball academy just south of houston in Pearland. Uh, how else can they get a hold of you? Man, email, it's easy. It's josh at hardballacademy.com. You have baseballdoctor8 at gmail.com. Any of the Facebook direct messages, Instagram direct messages, Twitter messages, we're easy to get a hold of. Just hop on your computer or your iPhone or your tablet or whatever you may have. Search us on the internet and there you'll have it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Josh. Yes, thank you all.